Welcome back to NRM 638 ArcGIS Python Scripting. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, spring semester 2015. This week we're going to work with the ArcMap field calculator. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Blackboard website and in Python scripts, go to the Week 2 ArcMap field calculator folder and download this test geo database. So that's what we'll be working with um, for the first few video sessions. Okay, so to start with, add from that test geo database the test table into ArcMap, and then open that test table. And that will have a bunch of fields that we're gonna work with. So let's take this double precision field and we'll multiply it by 100. So if you right mouse click on that field and the field calculator, by default, the parser is Visual Basic, which we're gonna to change to Python. So basically in Python, a field will be enclosed in exclamation points. So if we double click on DBL field, notice it's enclosed in exclamation points. So let's just take that and multiply it by 100. So that will do that field calculation. Okay, so whenever we do a calculation using this field calculator, it's actually going out to the geoprocessing tool and executing the geoprocessing tool. So if we go to our results tab, this is what we just did. So basically, we executed the geoprocessing tool calculate field and this was the Python expression that was executed. So if there's an error, the error will be in the results tab whenever we do a field calculation. Okay, so let's make a field um, called class. So we'll add a field and we'll call it class. And that field is here. And what we want to do with class is come up with, let's assume that these are elevation values. And if the elevation is 100 to 200, we'll give it class one. If the elevation is 200 to 300, we'll give it class two. If the elevation's 300 to 399.99, we'll make it class three. So we could do that using a Python calculation. So once again, Python. So we'll take our double field divide it by 100, and then we'll use the Python int function to convert it to an integer. So int for int. So basically, now we have our elevation classes where a value of one means the elevation is between 100 and 199.99. So these are in elevation class one, let's sort this ascending. And these two are in elevation class two, representing between 200 and 299. And this one is in elevation class three. So that's just a simple example of Python calculation. Okay, we can do some Python calculations on several fields. So for example, let's do a calculation for our double field. And we'll use the Python function max. So give me the maximum value among several fields. So among integer field one, comma, integer field two, comma, and integer field three. So go to these three fields, find the maximum value and return it into this double field. So basically for our first row, this five was the maximum value. So that becomes the result in our last row this seven was the maximum value, so that was the result. We could use the min function to get the minimum value. And we did it for only the selected row, so I'll clear selection and do it for all the rows. So then we have the minimum from these three different fields is re the result. Okay, you can also save your calculations to a file so if we go to our field calculator if you like this and you might for example forget it six months from now we could save it so you would just click on save and we'll save it and we'll call it min three fields and then save 
So that was saved to a little file. So then if we go to our field calculator and let's just load, and it was called min3 field. So then basically it remembers the expression that we used and we have to have it set to the Python parser to use it and then just OK and then it would work. So you can basically save your field calculations and then email that little file to anybody who could use it in their ArcMap document. Okay, so if you go to the Blackboard website, I've got a quiz question for you that when you answer it successfully, it will lead you to the next video session, which will be working with string fields.